normal form of equation of a straight line. The theorem says an equation of a non-vertical straight line L. This is we have a straight line L such that the length of the perpendicular from the origin. As we know this is the origin and this is the line which is showing perpendicular to this line is P. So we will label this side as P. And alpha is the inclination to this perpendicular. And alpha is the angle of inclination. Is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equals to P. So with the help of this diagram we will drive this form. So let P be any arbitrary point on this line L. And A and B are the respective x intercept and y intercept of this line. Let represent this line as OR. This OR is equals to P. Now this is the angle of 90 degrees and this is an angle of inclination alpha. So this must be the angle 90 minus alpha. Now we will consider two triangles. One triangle is ORA, the other one is ORB. So first considering the first triangle which is ORA. In triangle ORA, cos alpha. This is we have angle, we know the side opposite to angle is perpendicular. So this is perpendicular, this is base and this is hypotenuse. So cos alpha is equals to base over hypotenuse which is equals to base we have is OR and hypotenuse we have is OA. This OR can be replaced by P, P over OA. So we have finalized result cos alpha is equals to P over OA or if we can separate out this OA it will become OA is equals to P over cos alpha. So this is the result for the first triangle. Now we will discuss the second triangle. Second triangle we have is ORB. In triangle O R B cos of angle. Now angle we have is 90 minus alpha. So this is 90 minus alpha which is equals to base over hypotenuse. The value of base we have is O R and the value of hypotenuse we have is O B. So replacing this O R with P divided by OB. So finalized result for this case we have is, uh, let's discuss this angle first. This is cos 90 minus alpha. We have these four quadrants and this line represents 90 degrees. 90 minus alpha means the angle lies somewhere in the first quadrant. So it means the sign will be a positive sign. Next this 90 comes when we multiply an odd number with it and when we multiply an odd number the trigonometric ratio converts it into its cos co ratio is sine so the angle will be sine alpha which is equals to P over OB and if we want to separate out OB the equation reduces to OB is equals to P over sine alpha. Now, OA and OB, this is OA and OB, they are the respective x intercept and y intercept of the line L. Now as we know that intercept form of equation of a straight line is x over x intercept. The value of x intercept is OA plus y over the value of y intercept. The y intercept in this case is OB which is equals to 1. We have already discussed this equation in the previous lecture. I have dropped the link in the description box. You can check it.
now x over the value of o a is p over cos alpha plus y over the value of o b is p over sin alpha which is equals to 1 now this cos which is in the denominator it will multiply with this x which is in the numerator so x cos alpha divided by p plus y sin alpha divided by p is equals to 1 so taking lcm we have x cos alpha plus y sin alpha divided by p is equals to 1 now this p which is in the division form it will multiply towards the other side of equality and giving us the final relation x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equals to p so this is the finalized result that we want to prove well, number what we have the length of perpendicular from the origin to a line is 5 units this length is equals to 5 units and the inclination of this perpendicular is 120 degrees and this inclination angle is making 120 degree with the positive x axis find the slope and y intercept of the line we will find two things one is slope the other one is y intercept so as we derive the relation x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equals to p the value of p is known and the value of alpha is known so putting these two values in this relation x cos the value of alpha is 120 degrees plus y sin 120 degrees is equals to p the value of p is 5 now x will come as this the value of cos 120 is minus 1 over 2 plus y the value of sin 120 is under root 3 divided by 2 which is equals to 5 now this is minus x over 2 plus under root 3 over 2 y which is equals to 5 now taking lcm of this side the lcm of this term is 2 minus x plus under root 3 y will come as it is is equals to 5 now this two will migrate to the other side of equality and the equation reduces to this form now taking minus common from this side it will become x minus under root 3y which is equals to 10 taking this minus to the other side of equality x minus under root 3y is equals to minus 10 now x minus under root 3y plus 10 is equals to 0 so this is the equation of this line now we have to find the slope and y intercept as we know the formula to find the slope is y is equals to mx plus c so we will reduce this equation to this form the form of equation we have is x minus under root 3y plus 10 is equals to 0 so separating out y from this term under root 3y which is equals to minus x and minus 10 now cancelling out these minus by taking it common we have x plus 10 now these two minus signs will be cancelled out and the equation we have is under root 3y is equals to x plus 10 now we will divide under root 3 this under root 3 and under root 3 will be cancelled out so y is equals to 1 over under root 3 x plus 10 over under root 3 so formula we have is y is equals to mx plus c so comparing this form with this equation we have the value of m 1 over 
under root 3 and this is the value for y intercept c which is equals to 10 over under root 3. Final equation of a straight line which is at a distance of 7 units from the origin and the perpendicular from the origin to the line makes an angle 45 degrees with a positive direction of x axis. So we are given the value of p and angle alpha. As we know the formula for the normal form of equation of a straight line is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equals to p. So x cos the value of alpha is 45 degrees plus y sin the value of alpha 45 degrees is equals to the value of p is 7. We have to find the equation of this line. So x the value of cos 45 is 1 over under root 2 plus y the value of sin 45 is same 1 over under root 2 which is equals to 7. So x over under root 2 plus y over under root 2 is equals to 7. Now taking LCM under root 2 x plus y which is equals to 7. So x plus y is equals to 7 and this under root 2 will multiply giving us x plus y is equals to 7 under root 2. So this is the equation of the required 